we get to the heart of that problem. So when, for example, when we talk about a 24% wage gap for teachers, why? Why is that? That's not new. You said, uh, Heidi, you showed the, the line, it got worse, right? But it's not new. And so as we think about the why, you know, the systemic issues around the why, the fact that this is a predominantly, overly super majority of female profession, we can't ignore that. We can't turn our heads away from that, right? When we think about the fact that the, the rising, just, oh my goodness, cost of higher education, and the fact that we're asking our young people to choose a profession that already has a wage gap and saddle them with all kinds of debt, especially for our black and brown and indigenous students of color who we know don't have that intergenerational wealth that would allow them to choose teaching and stay in teaching, choose it and be able to afford it and stay in teaching and be able to raise a family. And so we gotta get at some of these systemic issues. It's not one, um, one, one issue, one, one solution. There are things that we can take steps on right away, but we've got to do it from a systemic place. And we have to acknowledge that it is our shared responsibility, our shared responsibility to make sure when we say every student is excelling and everyone knows it, every educator is excelling and everyone knows it, every school is excelling and everyone knows it, everyone, that we actually mean that. And so I, that's the story I would want them to tell. So that as we work towards those solutions, we know it has to be systemic, it has to be sustained, and we have to collaborate to do it. 